Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel GoDynamic IT. In the last video, we have covered how to take a local backup of your data. Today, we will replicate a scenario where we delete important data and then try to restore it to its original location. Since Duplicati use a web interface and we have enabled remote access to it, we will also set a password for the web interface to ensure it's secure. So it will look similar to this. So then when I open this web interface, you can see this is locked. So I have to put my password here and then you have to log okay so let's go and first our first task is to restore the data and the second task we will go ahead and set the password like this so as you can see here the last backup was yesterday 837 that's that's where we have uh, created the backup and let's go let's take one more backup now so it says that uh, let's take the backup first run now go to our drive oh it's got failed for some reason let's create a quick backup here configure a new backup yeah put the password it says the strength is useless but that's okay this is for testing purpose you have to put the strong password click or you can create a generate you can see the button here generate once you click that generate it will create a strong password so click on the next we have to select the backup destination so backup destination would be the f drive and um, as i said yesterday you can go ahead and click on the advanced so i'm not going to type anything here because we have already discussed this yesterday what would be the source data so source data would be on my desktop important files click on the next and it says automatically don't run automatically click on the next and uh, general purpose we have already discussed everything here uh, use okay. it says that uh, it gives me an error that you have given the weak password that's okay click on the run now and it says that starting backup files and uh, waiting for upload to finish it's running so it just says that is successfully by 690m so let's go back to our drive external drive here f drive now you can see we have a three files updated and those are all the encrypted one now let's go back and restore it so how do we restore it so as i said that in the uh, beginning of the video itself i am going to delete this. this is the file which we have which we took the backup and you can see inside the file we have uh, photos important for assume that these are the very important photos you can imagine the cost of the photos let like you have a company where you have taken the product shoot right product shoot means if you have called the photographer they have come and they have shoot let's say you have a garment company or something and then you have called models and then you have arranged the dress and all so you imagine that the cost of the one photos we can go ahead and shift delete this photo but imagine for the company how important these photos are so you have to call for a uh, models you have to pay for the models then you have to pay for the photographer and then for the editing also you have to pay for that so it's big it's a huge cost for photos photos and videos and even, even the business files also so we have important photos then we have a uh, videos then we have excel doc word file and and then other documents also imagine these are the all the important files and accidentally due to some reason maybe the system failure or anything this file got deleted and i'm going to shift delete you can see this permanently deleting the file so i'm deleting this file so this got deleted for some reason imagine the cost and the time it is going to take this again to to get everything back but we are happy that we have a backup right so what we can do is we have to go to our backup where is sorry okay so we have this interface open here now let's go back to our drive okay, these files are there time to go to the browser so we have to go to the restore you can see the third option restore inside the restore it said that which one you want to restore where do you want to restore from so i want to restore from new backup right this is what we have created so we can click on the new backup next and it says that which backup so these these are the dates here let's say if you are running the backup for multiple days or multiple uh, months you get the list of the months or date here like which from which let's say you have run the backup for three four to four months it will show you that which date you want to restore it so since we have run only first time so it's showing only one so it's that do you want to search any file like particular file you want to search it no i don't want to run the particular file so i just wanted to restore this important file everything from the important file so as of now it's showing not showing on the encrypted one is showing the plain text if you want to go ahead and select one file to be restored only one file can be restored also. or you can go ahead and come do that on the complete folder itself click on the continue and it says that a restore option where you want to restore it you want to restore the original location or pickup location or the folder path folder path means the custom location you want to do that so you can click on the browse or you can select where you want to restore it but i would like to restore it on the original location so you can see here um this is the original location and this file is missing expand this one okay let's click the original location and it says you want to overwrite or you want to save the different timestamps so for you let's say if the, when there is already a file here let's say if something got deleted and you notice that after five days but you have already created a new file on top of it so what you have to do is then you create this option save different version 
with the timestamp and the file version so that you can differentiate this is the file with new file which you have created five days back and the file which you are restoring would be the the date which you have restored but for me i'm going to select the override because i do not have any file so that's okay and then you have to select this option permission read and write permission click on the restore and you say that restoring the data successfully click on the okay and now you can see all our photos our videos excel file doc everything got back as it is so isn't isn't you think that this is the very uh, important feature data backup is a very important feature for us right we are assured that uh, because system we cannot guarantee about the system whether it's when it's going to crash operating system when it's got, got got crashed so when you have this kind of free or open source software you can you can assure that you are secure or you are safe right so now since we have got the data backup the second thing which i told you that see now we have enabled the access on the remote access to this one so anyone who can have ping this ip address let me show you to my system ip config so we have enabled the web interface on this interface this one so anyone who have access to this ip anyone who can reach this ip i would rather i would say can access this web interface so don't you think that when he once he got the access to this interface let me access this one show it uh, we have to give the port number sorry for that double zero so anyone who has got the access to it if you have not set the password here he can log in and he can play with my settings right this is a security flow so what we can do is let's log into here and i'll show you how to set it up the, the password like this so that anyone who is logging to try to log into this this our backup system he should allow this to log in once you put the password put the password here okay we can back to the interface and then you have to go to the settings inside the setting you can see this first option access to user interface first we have to select this option so by default it will be unchecked by default be it will be like this so what you have to do is you have to click this um, select this option and then you have to type the password and then you have to reconfirm the password and then you have to go and click on the okay so this password is not only for the remote access this is for the local access also you can see this local hazard so let me log out from this web interface close this one let me log out. so you can see when i logged out from this one it's asking about the password here on the same ip also you can see whether you logged in locally or remote it will ask you for the password so this is how you can secure your web so i think we have covered both our agenda today for this video so that's it for today's video if you have any questions concern or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video